Hey yo, what's good YouTube? Welcome to another video and first of all I just wanted to say a quick thanks to everyone as your support has been just insane during the last couple of days so uh, again really thank you I really appreciate all of you uh, but if you're new go ahead and click that subscribe button and now let's get on into the video. So yeah I got some settings for you guys today. Uh, first of all let's start with something that you can actually do uh, well off game in the menus and that's going into controller settings and going all the way down and that's the one uh, so this is defense defensive assist with intense D so that's uh, intense D is when you're holding L2 and when you are defending on ball uh, I really recommend uh, uh, well raising this to uh, something between well 15 and 30 somewhere among those lines uh, just play around with it, uh, check what's working for you, uh, 25 is what's the best for me, because if it's completely on zero, you are gonna have quite some trouble uh, defending on ball, and sometimes you need to do that, and if you go all the way to 100, well, it's, it's it will be the same as AI defending, and well, you, you're not doing anything, and you'll get your ankles broken, and so on, so yeah, I really do not recommend going above and beyond, but uh, yeah, somewhere around 15 and 30 is the sweet, sweet spot. And uh, second, second point is if you do not, well, if you do not see the core that well, in a lot of cases, uh, putting this on openness work pretty good. And uh, if you just, well, go all the way with openness, your player will pass when you when you click click X, your player will pass to someone who's open instead of the guy you are trying to pass to. So it can be something that needs to be well that you need to get used to but if you're really struggling with uh, with your passes this is something else that you could look into and try i do not recommend going all the way with uh, openness but just another option that people tend to miss out but yeah i keep mine on default and uh, now let's get on to an, uh, into an actual game so I can show you all of those settings. So I will be showing this on a next gen console but it's exactly the same thing on a, on a current gen and I think there are a couple of options on next gen but I'm not even using them anyway I think uh, but there's definitely all the options that are in a current gen uh, though all of them are in here as well so uh, the difference is really really minimal uh, you you'll be fine if you're using current gen with all these settings so for on ball pressure you always want to go smother at least personally me that's my de definitely my uh my choice because you just want your player to be well in the ball handler's face all the time and it helps you get a lot of steals uh, if you're playing off ball it just really helps you to be there to stop him from dribbling, stop him from creating space, and uh, if you're doing all the rotations, you need to be off-balling, and this is where it really comes into play. For off-ball, uh, well, this is this could be up for debate. What I use is tight, and uh, it could be anything from moderate to deny ball. It really depends on how your opponent is playing. I think uh, there's a good case uh, to use deny ball on uh, next-gen, because it's harder to ask for cuts there and uh, I would usually go for tight while playing on current gen because those cuts could really kill you if you're if you're all of your defenders are just sitting really really like in 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 the face of uh, of ball players uh, well it's really really easy for them to get cuts and to get uh, under the basket and score some easy points so that's why I would recommend tight also if you see that your opponent is using a lot of plays uh, that's another another case where you could use tight or even moderate so your defenders don't get stuck on screens and so on but uh, yeah tight or deny ball is usually the best best option uh, okay moving on force direction Okay, this could be up for debate as well, but uh, it's between automatic or middle. Uh, I'm using middle uh, all the time, just hoping that my CPU well, works that way. But uh, why I'm saying it's up for debate, basically because computer AI is just too stupid to work the way you're uh, well, asking them to. Sorry, I just realized that I'm a scrub and uh, I have my camera in a way. Uh, of all these settings here so uh, yeah moving on uh, anyway yeah so AI uh, can 
really just mess everything up no matter what you have in these settings and uh, act on its own uh, but yeah that's why uh, this automatic could uh, could just mess AI even more but uh, yeah I'm using middle uh, because if you if you go if you go in baseline and if computer bot uh, well forces your opponent baseline there's nothing you can do nothing to send help from but if he's uh, forcing him middle that's where you can actually help with your rotations uh, for on ball screen uh, always go over always that's no brainer uh, you do not want to, your opponent to score threes and uh, especially at this point of the game everyone can score threes and uh, everyone can go over screens because well 99% of the on ball defenders have big dodger badge and pretty much all of them have it on all of on hall of fame so uh yeah always go over and uh, that's exactly the same thing with the uh, on-ball screen and on-ball screen center. So no matter who's defending pick and roll, you always wanna uh, you, you always want him to go over screen just to prevent a, a three-pointer. Moving on to hedge. Uh, hedge is again the two two things, but they are gonna be the same. So hedge and hedge center, you want to catch hedge. So uh, basically, it's a lot of cases you will be defending center well you will be controlling your center at least you want to control your center in a lot of cases while defending pick and roll that's the best practice at least for me and uh well in some cases where you are controlling your rotations uh you want your center to just to step up and again to prevent any threes from happening so uh yeah again uh in this pick and roll type of setting a lot of uh, a lot of times it's a really good uh, well while catching that hedge it's a really good way to get a bump steal so that's why you want to uh, control your center uh, but again if you if you don't uh, while catching it uh, AI sometimes gets that bump steal and well gives you a good defensive stop so yeah that's pretty much one of the main reasons why you want uh, to keep it on catch hedge but yeah uh, th that's another no-brainer as well Okay, moving on. Uh, stay attached, post, off ball screen, double team perimeter, double team post. Some of these are not, uh, I think some of these are not even in current gen and I do not touch them at all. Again, this is one, this is sort of thing that your AI will not handle this, will not handle these settings correctly and will not handle these normally. And it's just too much to ask at some point and I, it's sad, it's sad that it, this is the way it is, but uh, you can just skip those and uh, just keep them the way, you are, the, the way they are and manual or automatic, it's the best thing to do. And uh, the same thing goes to switch rules, off ball and pre-rotate. Pre they, they just have their mind of their own and uh, in, in these scenarios it, it doesn't really work. So it's really no point uh, in, in doing those and when uh, when you're doing these settings fast before every game you see you'll just you'll just save save some of your time uh now uh moving on uh there is drive help rules and screen help rules so in here uh this is a setting that it is just help and no rotation that no matter what uh no matter what you do you don't want uh your uh well your other other defenders to drop and help you if you were defending and uh, well if he went if the offending offensive player went through and uh, well if he scores two that's fine you do not want to give up threes and uh, again computer will help no matter what no matter what kind of settings you have but in i think while setting these on help and no rotation you just prevent uh, that from happening at least some of the times so uh, that's well that's a small win that we we need to take in here but yeah help and no rotation that's another another no-brainer here and uh, these last settings are definitely only for uh, next gen so you do not really change uh, any of these if you're playing on next gen at, uh, and up, uh, so none of them apart from this last one transition defense no threes so yeah you just don't wanna don't wanna allow them to score any threes on transition and uh, if you if you keep it on uh, auto or a wall up everyone will just collapse under the basket and that's not what you want you want them all spread out defending a three-pointer uh, 
there is another case that could be made for uh, when you're playing uh, your opponent so that will be a very specific type of type of scenario let's say your opponent has someone like ben simmons on point guard so in that case of course you want to uh, take off on ball pressure you can even leave a gap and uh, off ball pressure as well you can just give give him want to give him as much space as uh, as possible uh, because he is not going to be shooting threes so you know that and uh, if your opponent has uh, like a center who's not shooting like Shaq or whatever and uh, you, you want you just want to leave gap because in that case it will be easier for you to control your defense that way and uh, he's not going to be shooting so that defense that player who is defending him is going to be well in a paint a bit more and if someone drives he can help more well you know you know how it goes uh, if if there's someone on their team who cannot shoot you let them shoot and you double with with with, with that player who's defending him that's pretty obvious so okay so this is this is for uh, this is it for defensive settings this is what a lot of people use what most of the people use what, mo what most of the comp players use and uh, uh yeah that's that's for sure and these are definitely the best settings to the best defensive settings to use while playing every game and if you want to sweat out uh, go ahead and do that and go in, into offensive settings I will not touch too much on that because uh, there is a lot of uh, things that are only for next gen and uh, not for current gen and I know that most of you are from current gen so uh, the only thing that you really want to do is uh, go to a freelance and select a Hawks 2018 freelance which allows you to play that five out the other way to do it uh, without going into settings is uh, by using Bucks uh, 2018, well, the current Bucks uh, playbook. And uh, I'm not sure if it is on right here. No, it's a uh, Jazz 98 right here. But yeah, anyway, so uh, there is a play called ISO 5 out 4, I think. So it's quite quite the same thing as here. But yeah, uh, the best way to do it is just to use the Hawks 2018 fr freelance to, to get that ISO that five out uh, type of offense whenever you need it apart from that if you want to look into some place uh, rca really is the best youtube channel for it i can give you a video if you want any offensive plays uh playing uh, online against uh, other people if you want uh, best offensive plays to use while playing offline against cpu check out my last couple of videos uh, both of them are about the same thing and uh yeah that is really it for offensive settings the only last thing that you want to check and do before going into every game is to turn off the adaptive coach engine no matter which gen gen is it uh you just want to keep it off all the time because uh, otherwise computer will just switch everything by its own and uh it's gonna be really not in your control so you really do not want that Last thing that uh, you might want to do, just in case again, is to go and get your help defense uh, completely to zero uh, that you can find in coaching sliders. Uh, so yeah, th this just, again, to try and uh, uh, make computer move by its own the least possible amount because uh, computer, when computer moves, it's, it just, it goes crazy and uh, then you have no idea what's going on. So this will be it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. If you enjoyed uh, this video, go ahead and click like uh, on it and subscribe to the channel. That would really help me. I'm trying to reach that, uh, well, those 600 subscribers right now. But yeah, again, thanks everyone for watching and now I'm out. Peace.